Hi, welcome to the Film Prop channel. Today I'm going to tell you about an action movie from 1995 called, Thunderbolt. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support me with a like. That way the channel will grow. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The story begins with a factory where cars and machinery are assembled. Trainees test cars in various conditions, checking for safety and speed. Toward the end of the day, climbing under the car, Chen Foyne hears the clatter of heels, and turning around, he sees a pretty girl looking for something. It turns out that she has lost an earring, which he immediately helped her find. Turning around, she unsuccessfully pushed the door, pinching his arm. But, like a true gentleman, Foyne did not let it show. At this time, a tall, blonde man named Cougar pulls up somewhere in the racing lot and is greeted by a blonde hottie. Calling on Pete, Cougar inquires about a certain Tony, but not getting the desired answer, he and his lady handcuff him to the car to punish the unfortunate. After a while, Cougar meets some friends who give him a suitcase with weapons, and he informs them that he will go to Hong Kong. Two cheeky boys arrive at an auto repair shop, demanding a change of parts, but Cheng Fo does not like rudeness, he stops the insolent men and they leave. Two girlfriends get off the school bus, and after picking up food at the store, they walk past the dubious guys. One of them slaps the girl, and she brings her brother, Fo, with her. He taught the bullies a lesson. It's nighttime, racing. The police stop the troublemakers. The journalist argues with the cameraman. Uncle Tang inspects the cars, reporting substandard builds. A car without license plates rushes by at speed, this does not go unnoticed by the police. The officer tried to stop the intruder, but he was not even going to slow down, Chen barely managed to save the policeman. An Interpol officer arrives at the police station. At the meeting it is reported that the intruder is Cougar, and he is not only a racing driver, but also the head of a criminal organization. Chen Foyne shows off tricks with a magnet in the family circle. Uncle Tang and the boys wait out the intruder's black car. Journalists are also on standby. Amy unsuccessfully tries to interview Fo, who has also come to see the elusive racer. The reporters had a problem with the car, so they stopped the tractor trailer with the guys. While they were arguing and figuring things out, the very same black car drove by. Chen Fo and Amy rushed after it, in pursuit. Fo asked Amy to call the police. Cougar slowly pulled up alongside them, and rolled down his window, smirking. The next moment they were sprinting forward. Cougar cuts Fo off, pushing him sideways, trucks come in their way, the road is full of dangers. The police block the road and deploy spikes. Cougar has fled, but immediately reappears behind them, and is now pushing them behind. Chen Fo picks up speed by making a U-turn, and they manage to nail the rider. He is apprehended. Amy calls her boss to tell her about the incredible race with the outlaw, but she has failed to capture anything, and the scoop without a camera is just empty words. Cougar is impressed with Fo, and offers to race, but Chen Foyne refuses, claiming that he is not a racer. Fo returns home, where his family is already telling all about him to reporters. He is not happy about this, and does not want to give interviews. After some leave, other uninvited guests arrive, the bandits enter the workshop, behaving brazenly, beating the guys, and handing Fo a wad of money so that he won't talk to the police officers anymore. Fo, angered by such a pitch, throws the bills away, and a fight ensues. Chen Foyne single-handedly tackles the whole gang, and shamefully drives them away. Cougar is about to be released from the station, but Fo shows up on the doorstep to report that this is the man who hit the policeman. Amy dines with Fo's family, and later returns to her assistant. The blonde arrives with her underlings to rescue her lover, but the girl is killed in the shootout. The criminal is now free and full of resentment. It is night, everyone is asleep. Cougar and his gang hoist the house with Chen Fo on hooks, dragging him all over the dump, flipping and smashing him. Fo is thrown in all directions, he nearly falls out. Seeing the family running out into the noise, Cougar points the house at them. The family barely escapes, with Chen Fo already covered in blood. Gathering his strength, he jumps over and catches his sister, but Sai Moi is unresponsive, she's in shock. Chen carries his sisters in his arms and calls for his father. Cougar lets go of the house, and it collapses onto the premises. Cougar picks up the sisters, and makes an appointment. The hospital, a staff member comes to see Fo, and interrogates him and pisses him off. He collapses. Amy holds him in her arms, calming him down while they give him an injection. Chen Foyne is going to the race. Amy comes to see him. He gets angry, thinking she's here for the interview again, but she tries to talk to him, be supportive, and he still agrees to help. Amy writes a list and together with the guys they gather everything they need. Fo trains, getting the car ready. 
Together with the police officers, Fo pulls out onto a blocked highway, and picks up speed. But at that moment, an unsuspecting governor also drives onto the road. Fo overtakes him, causing a small accident. Amy accidentally learns the location of the bandits, goes there and calls Fo. The Bound sisters are in the entertainment center. Foyne walks into the bathing area and demands the sisters, but he gets no answer, kicking him out. He picks up a hammer, asks all the visitors to leave, and starts smashing the slot machines. The bandits are pissed off and are ready to kill him, but Fo is not easy to deal with, even for a big gang. Amy turns on the camera. Cougar shows up and brings back one of the sisters, Tay Mui. The ringleader reminds Fo that he's expecting to meet him at the race. Chen Foyne comes to practice with a battered face. The coach is concerned. An employee asks about his sister, but Fo won't answer him. Suddenly, Fo's car flips over and catches fire. He gets out. The car is put out, he is unharmed but angry and upset. The teacher says he can't help anymore. Emmy is found in possession of a camera and is judged, but Fo cuts everyone off. Fo is called to sign. He is surprised to find that he has been delivered better sports cars and parts. Ocho San, the same one he helped find an earring, comes to the rescue. Fo trains again. Cougar calls and demands to kill the girl, but suddenly there is an explosion. Amy asks Daimyo to give Fo the key ring. Cougar and Fo get in the car and get ready to start. The teacher talks about how this is the toughest track in Japan, and instructs him to win. Silence, long seconds of waiting, and presto. The roar of the cars and the speed rips the air. Cars skid around tight corners, someone flips over. The track is wet. Fo changes rubber. Amy tries to give water, but is pushed away, you can't touch the car during the race, but he casts his eyes on it, and drives on. The speed is great, but he goes only 7th. Stopping again, Fo lavishes Amy with his smile. Encouraged, she pulls the tape out of the camera and throws it away, then asks to see the sign that says I love you. Fo is discouraged, he skids a little, but once he levels off, he presses harder, and is already in second place, catching up with Cougar. The opponent doesn't give up his position, and prevents him from making a breakthrough. One more stop, and it's the final race. The cars are beating, they're on fire. Chen Foyne is through the flames. He takes the lead. Cougar undercuts Fo and, stalling, they both end up on the gravel. They finally manage to pull away and come to the finish line, but Chen is a fraction of a second ahead of his rival. They keep going. Fo yells, where's the sister? Cougar skids and Chen gets him. The police arrive, and Fo's sister is with them. She is alive, and rescued. Amy happily jumps on Fo, and they kiss. Chen Foyne is victorious. But everyone's notion of victory is different. After all, the most important thing is the love and smiles of loved ones. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you like my channel. More recaps movie with Jackie Chan, you will find in the description below these videos.